Good evening. We interrupt your current podcast is playing with some breaking news. This is 8 Morning 92 News, where we give you 100% of the facts, 100% of the time. I'm Harrison, and this is Tonyo. Give me all that game violence. Since y'all say we on that street shit, we're going to talk about the latest street shit that's going on. We open this breaking interview today with live information that's just gone. Local rising rapper, pause. Tony Wurwitz has just come out as being an openly gay crip. We take you to the interview now. It's a crip. Yes, that's absolutely 100%, 1,000 correct. Because we do have, a, we do, is there a openly gay, there is an openly gay rapper, right? Ain't? Yeah, but it's a bunch of them, and some of them not open, though. You know what I'm saying? But but it's definitely a bunch of them, but I'm just uh, trying to understand gangster, the crib though. part. The, 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 the crib part. Like, part of, you, see, I'm a gangster <laughs> rapper, so like, it's no openly gangster gay rappers out here. You got Saucy Santana, he ain't no gangster. You got Lil Nas, he ain't no gangster. I'm a gangster. So that's the difference between me and all these other rappers. Not all gang members are pleased with this information. Among those not pleased is a member of the Crip Association gang, Triple O C. Here's what he had to say about it. <clears throat> Good afternoon, Triple uh, O C. Dolly Sprite. <clears throat> By your resume, it says you have a lot of game, almost too much. Um. I appreciate you doing this interview with us today. It's been a lot of uproar in the streets since the first openly gay crip has come out. We want to get a little question, have a couple questions for you. Excuse me. Um, how do you feel about the first openly gay crip, Mr. Tony Wilridge? I don't like these same crip. Like that that part, he, he could have left that out. Like he could have called himself a gangster rapper. He could have called himself a, a trap rapper since he's from down there. Take that crip and not your mouth. put out is racing up the charts putting down the d and throwing up the c oh god that shit not they don't fuck him up will you be repping that c and supporting his song That's it ain't, he has nothing to do with anything crip associated that goes for them atlanta crips that sell that blue soda the crips of california and all the crips all over the world he is hmm. not a representative we are disassociating ourselves from him that dude is not a member. He, he's not a card carrier. No. Okay. See, Dolly Sprite, uh, like, if he asked you for a feature, would you be in it? No. This shit right here, this, this ain't fucking cute at all. Like, this ain't, this ain't even funny. All right. All right. I hear you. I don't believe you, but I hear you. I'm looking at the bylaws right now, but if you could, for the, the audience watching, could you please share some of the gay prerequisites that are required for somebody to get put down. Um, do you get jumped in or busted? Paul. You get jumped in. The funny thing is I ain't gonna front. There's been some niggas who've been busting. I ain't even I ain't even gonna bullshit you. I I know of some. But again, it's it's don't ask, don't tell. Like if, if that's how you got on, that's how you got on. We ain't got no problem with I, you know me personally, that ain't I'm I'm part of the the, the rather not know club. If that's how you get cracking, do your thing, man. If if you 
and your big homies, whoever y'all set up that agreement with, have at it. But this shit he's doing, that shit not cool. If Crip Tony was to get smoked on the block, false. Will you get him tatted on your body? Absolutely not. All right. Let me ask you this. If he was put down for real, is it respect or is it getting checked? And honestly, it's always been a, it's like don't ask, don't tell. Like, I think the probably the closest thing we've gotten to some openly gay thugging was Omar from the Y. Like, we know it's happening, but that's not a part of the who this person is. Like, nah, that shit not cool. It's, it's too many niggas in jail getting their booty played with for thugging and homosexuality to not coexist. They been coexisting. The prisoner tell you that. But it's just not like an open thing. It ain't like these niggas get home and be like, yeah, nigga, I'm purple passion. Nigga, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm the pink slider. Like, nah, nigga. Well, that's how y'all get done. Okay. Last question for me. We'll let you go. I know you have gang shit to do. If he asked you for a feature, would you do it? No chance in hell. I don't think there's any actual crypt that's going to do uh, nothing with that dude. And even if you're a homosexual, I suggest you not fuck with that. Don't touch that. He, he's playing a very dangerous game. And you don't want it. You know, you don't want no secondhand smoke. It's going to be more dangerous for you than it is for him. All right. Thank you, Doug Sprite. Told me he was going to bring you that street shit or lack thereof. <laughs> I appreciate that, Tony. <laughs> uh, but on a serious note, people, uh, shit gets real out here. Some of you guys are podcasters. We don't know what we are. But we do know one thing. We keep it eight more than 92 percent of the time, which is 100 percent of the facts, 100 percent of the news, 100 percent of the time. This has been a breaking news special of 8 More Than 92 News, where we gave you 100 percent of this shit and we're going to back to our lives. We thank y'all for tuning in. We're going to see you guys next time. And remember, keep that street shit in the streets. Game violence. Y'all have a good night. That's a wrap. All right. Can I get a coffee? Bring my jet around. One of the top 10 podcasters listed by Procast. <laughs> <laughs>